Hi everyone and welcome to this Valkyrie Sound video on what is the modulator node. The modulator node is in the sound queue. We can use it to change the pitch or the volume of an attached sound wave. Here I have a footstep sound um, which on its own sounds like this. If I plug this into a modulator node I can now set the pitch and volume of the footstep. If I want all of the steps to sound lower, using lower frequencies, I can change the pitch min and max to the same value, say 0.2. If I plug that in and press space to play it, so it sounds much deeper. But say I've got a limited memory on the platform or the device that I'm designing a game for, I want to make sure I'm maximizing the use of all of my sound assets. Well, I can change the pitch min and max to different values, and that's going to give me more, more variety when the sound is cued. So if I change the pitch min to 0.8 and the max to 1.2, see what that sounds like. That's pretty good for a footstep for wood. So if we set our volume to 0.6 and 1, again. So because these values here are floats, if I click and drag you can see it's going right down to the fifth decimal there, we're going to get a lot of random numbers between our ranges, so our footstep acid is actually going to do a lot of legwork just from one sound. The modulator node applies a random pitch adjustment, that's the modulation part, to the attached wave sound. Some sounds are going to need a narrower pitch range and some will need a wider range. It just depends on what sound you're making and what's going to be right for your game. Now let's do something a little more complicated. In this setup, I have one bleep sound. Now I can only plug one sound wave into a modulator. So I have to have two separate modulator nodes, one for each sound wave. From the modulator, I'm then running into a random node and I'm running into a looping node. You can find more about those nodes in other videos I've got as well. The top bleep has a pitch min and max of 0.1 and 1, and the bottom bleep has a pitch min and max of 1 and 2. So we've got lower frequency sounds or lower frequency sounds in the top one and higher frequency sounds in the bottom one. So it's going to sound like this. And notice how the lower execution flow is flickering. It's only on for a very short time compared to the top one. That's because Unreal Engine is changing the length of the sound waves as it applies its modulation. This is a common feature of pitch shifting and it's different to pitch scaling, where the pitch of a sound is changed without affecting the speed or the length of the sound. This is an important thing to know because as you add assets, they are going to be adjusted in their length. They will play for shorter or longer depending on what modulation you have applied to them. There are loads of occasions where the modulator node is going to be really useful. Its main function is to provide variety to sound waves without the need of having a lot more assets. One thing we could do with this particular one here is we could have just one footstep for each surface type we have in our game and run it through a modulator, putting some variation there on each footstep sound. Any repetitive sound, like footsteps, the sound of moving clothing as a character navigates your game, weapon fire, ambient sounds, animal calls, light switches, and any other interactive noises, static, pretty much anything where a sound is going to be used multiple times, that's going to be a good opportunity to use the modulator node. It's going to save us some space and memory without really affecting the player experience. And that's it for modulator nodes.